people are getting caught up here with, you know, three grams and they're hitting them with, you know, uh, trafficking charges and these people are getting, you know, hefty prison sentences. I remember they told me that, you know, you're gonna do 20 years in jail. And I was like, in shock. I was like, 20 years, I, I can't even do one night. I um, was just crying and, and I remember just getting so hot and I, I slumped down to the ground and I put my cheeks on the tile floor and, you know, just to cool my cheeks off, I didn't want to die in the cell. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I have to make this right. We're tired of people dying from this thing that's preventable. Nobody deserves this. My daughter didn't deserve it. Nobody deserves it. Nobody. I thought I was going to be lucky, but God had different plans. Don't be ashamed. It is a disease just like cancer. It, 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 it is a disease that, that has been so ignored. But it didn't have to be this way. There's hope. Recovery is real. Young people are using alcohol and drugs for a reason, and if you can get them to talk about that reason, I think that's the first step. I have landed the best job that I've ever had or could have dreamed of, and I am an outreach coordinator for the Respect Institute of Georgia. I'm so excited that this doesn't have to claim my future. I don't think that my life was a mistake at all anymore. No matter what, no matter how bad it looks on paper, no matter how bleak your future may be, no matter how many obstacles that you may have to overcome, you must know that you are enough.